data science is in demand now and hence there are so many people who are getting lots of jobs in data science data engineering data architect and there are a lot of companies in the uk who are providing visa sponsorship so today i've invited kishore who had managed to find job in data science so let me introduce him to our channel hi kishore welcome to your knowledge buddy and congratulations on your new job thank you kishore do you mind introducing yourself to our audience please sure um actually uh, currently i'm working in uh, singapore in a leading bank uh, in uh, uh, leader architect and uh, product analyst uh, where i have indulged in multi- in banking domains uh, in capital markets uh, assets and uh, investment mostly and then a uh, couple of that before aml and e banking as well and uh, revolved around the it and technologies including uh, some products but uh, mostly revolved around it technologies in data previously it was in java so now it's in kafka spark and m- multiple roles um and then um i was working for sme uh, working working as a sme and then um, solution architect as well so currently my most of the my roles are uh, revolving around data um in sql no sql database and then uh, um hadoop clusters and advanced stacks as well including database snowflake and cloud solutions like aws data solutions as well yeah mostly uh, this is my expertise and um, uh, things or areas i have entered so, so far okay and what is your total experience fisha um it's around uh, 10 years 10 years of experience okay good thank yeah. you so i have written few couple of questions for you if you don't mind can i go through one by one sure okay what was your interview like yeah basically this interview process was pretty uh, generic and it, it was a good good interview good interview experience uh, compared to my previous experience as well and uh, um these guys um uh, took around uh, three rounds of interview first round right. second and third round and last one was the hr round so pretty descriptive coding round also was there involved right. uh, first round was uh, one person second round two person and third round one person last one is the hr interview Okay. And I asked pretty much about my experience and everything, uh, including uh, scenario questions as well. Scenario-based questions, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So, Kishore, thank you very much. So now I'm going to ask you a few questions from my subscribers because I've already posted in my community tab that I was about to interview you, so they have already sent me a few questions. So I'm going to ask one by one. Okay. So Kalyan wants to know how to start in data science or data engineering and how to learn from scratch. Uh, yeah. Actually, there. Uh, to about uh, uh, to answer this question i mean uh, there are multiple uh, information available online and uh, it's pretty much overloaded in, in internet mm-hmm. but basically i can say start from uh, somewhere uh, like udemy or coursera or somewhere mm-hmm. uh, from the online platform where they are providing pretty much basic standards mm-hmm. um, just before that learn uh, some programming language like python or r or scala but python is the most popular one everyone chooses that one Yeah. so learn that one be confident in python and then it will gradually help you to learn data science and this one because it revolves around that technology and then slowly you can learn from udemy and somewhere and then gradually there are multiple organizations who are providing masters and all one year courses six months courses mm-hmm. so can opt for that one and then there are some uh, literally there are in india people are doing startups and all there is a called recently i got to know that i neuron is providing a uh, very flexible and a uh, little bit uh, less price uh, courses mm-hmm. and they are also doing practicals and uh, these things like industry standard uh, coachings so that right. will be helpful so and that i can say and youtube also is there multiple sort of things yes. are there in youtube yeah good thank you so there is another question from kalyan so what are tools and databases do you have to learn for this job uh, basically you have Uh, to answer this question uh, we have to have uh, very confidence uh, are confident about uh, sql and no sql databases basically uh, sql databases one of the sql database maria db or uh, any oracle or anything and then no sql uh, either aws one is dynamo db or yeah. or uh, mongo or cassandra and all if you are using hadoop and all those clusters yeah those things basically okay. have to be pretty confident about no sql as well okay Awesome. Thank you. So, next question is from Shilpa. Shilpa is asking, uh, "Did you have a strong GitHub profile, and what kind of projects did you include in your CV?" Uh, actually, uh, GitHub proliferates uh, your chances in selections, and they, if you mention uh, GitHub profile and all in your resume, people do check that one, and then. Um, if possible you can build a github by checking your ports or whatever projects you are doing in at home or your practice mm-hmm. you can uh, check online and do your uh, things and do some uh, homework and uh, there is a uh, i think there is a website called kaggle you go there choose some uh, challenges and then solve it and then upload it in uh, github that will help you oh great thank you 
Okay, so the next question is from uh, Shilpa. She's asking, what is the range of salary for experienced people in data science? Do you have any idea? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I have, I mean, always in uh, right now applying in UK, so I don't have much idea, but yeah, I can say certainly when I was trying, it was around 70 to 120K based on the experience and uh, negotiation skills. Yeah, good. Thank you. Okay, so the next question I have from Ryan and Eleutheromania. They want to know what certifications do you have in this field? Actually, yeah, first I started uh, doing um, practicals in my uh, organizations and then I had a course, uh, six months of organization standard in uh, Singapore National University one, uh, that one. Mm -hmm. And then AWS couple of certifications, professional and uh, associates and data side, uh, mm -hmm. there one, uh, this one. And then I completed my master's from uh, British Pilani. So, that, that was the thing. Okay. Thank you, Kishore. So, next question is from Abby is asking what platforms you use to find a job and did you apply only for jobs that stated visa sponsorship available or you applied for all the jobs? Um, yeah. Uh, coming to this question, uh, speaking about myself, uh, I tried my best to limit uh, towards these two platforms, LinkedIn and Glassdoor. Uh, multiple, there are multiple platforms, but I choose this one because it's very easy for me and then uh, I can do it in my mobile as well. I just keep it everything handy and then apply based on your profiles. But yeah, I choose mostly the job profile and then I choose if it suits my uh, tech stacks and all product skills, then I apply. I, I didn't really verify if there are any shortage of questions and all, but I really choose the organization profile and the job profile if that suits me. Okay. Um, so did you also read in the job description whether visa sponsorship is mentioned or not or you just applied yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, most of them they have mentioned they are providing visa sponsorship, some are contracts and some of these things. So I try to refrain from applying the contracts um, like positions. Okay. Thank you. So, But uh, meanwhile, I can, uh, I would like to mention like I have seen your couple of videos and you have mentioned multiple uh, um, organization list who are providing visa sponsorship i tried uh, yeah. that one i saw and a couple of good companies were there so i tried to yeah. uh, go to the linkedin and search my profile but i tried to yeah. i did get some but i didn't get some uh, suitable roles yeah i applied them but yeah. I, that didn't materialize but yeah that, that's really indeed helpful yeah so i'm just going to add a note here so if your profile is in shortage occupation list and you got like three plus or four years of experience you can take a chance and apply but look for uh, the employee if they employer if they are a licensed sponsor or not so you can take a chance and apply but of course uh, the videos which i make i try to read out if they have mentioned about visa sponsorship or not but again you can take a little chance there okay uh kishore i have just a couple of more questions left Again, this is from Abby. So what is the best way to enter uh, the UK market for beginner with one year of experience? Uh, again, I mean, uh, I'm no, I have no that kind of expertise in this domain. But yeah, I can say there is no certain uh, best time or uh, worst time. Anytime we can try as for our skill set. But yeah, we have to have some niche skills to apply. I mean, they are looking for some skills. So actually, we have to have that skills and then apply. Either it is one year or two years, you have to be have confident about the roles, what you are doing. Um, if it is one year, I have one suggestion from my experience. One year, you must not uh, familiar with all the organization process and everything exactly. which they want. Uh, so, but yeah, so try to be vigilant and uh, learn these things and then apply. Yeah. Um, I mean, don't try to uh, just showcase what you have not done, but yeah, try to learn gradually and then uh, just be um, natural, I can say. I mean, it's not like what you have not done and you're trying to show in something and then again you will ca get caught. So that, that situation is embarrassing. So don't try that. But uh, yeah, you have to be very confident about what you are doing. Okay. And then just a note. Nice skills. Yeah. Thank you, Kishore. Uh, just a note, Abby. Uh, like I keep on telling on in my videos that UK is an experience-based market and not degree-based market. Yeah. So the more experience you have, better chances for you to get selected because you need to remember you're competing with the local British people. So I will definitely tell you to gain experience. Like three years plus of your experience is good enough for the UK market. Okay, Kishore, last question is from me, okay? So I'm trying to build a community where we can help each other. So can you refer the right candidate from my audience to your company or anywhere else? Definitely, um, I will definitely uh, do that. Uh, uh, try to help it uh, with my capability, whatever I can. Um, that, would, that will be indeed, indeed uh, very good. Uh, helpful for them so i will be really glad to help them yeah for them all. okay so uh, to my capability so you okay for me to share your linkedin or instagram id with the audience uh sure no problem okay so the uh, details uh, will be in the video description okay 
Yep. So, thank you very much, Kishore. Is there any tip that you want to provide before we wrap this interview? Um, I think mostly we covered everything, all the questions, and previously your videos also covered everything, the basic uh, things. Uh, one thing I can say, uh, yeah. So, uh, try to look first what you want. I mean, uh, based on the preference, like locations or whatever. Now, right now, India market is also booming. I mean, salary-wise, the India market is also touching the uh, sky limit. So. But what exactly you want, where you want to settle, uh, just set your goals and preferences accordingly. You try, and then it is a globalization market right now. Anywhere, any location you can try, uh, you can get it. A couple of my friends get it in all the locations where wherever they want. So there is no restrictions. Nobody restrict you unless and until you um, uh, you are up to the market uh, standard. So it's it's pretty much easy. Um, that's what I can say. I mean. Um, where we want to go uh, to our to our to down the lane in our career so that's that utmost, that should be our utmost goal um yeah that, that's all uh, thank you good okay thank you very much kishore thank you for all the tips and i'm sure this is going to help out so many people out there who are looking for a job in the uk thank you and thank you for doing this interview on my channel thank you thank you for having me here thank you thank you bye Thanks to Kishore, thanks for sharing your story and I hope this video will help everyone who's looking for a job in the UK. Thank, thank you guys for watching my video till the end and I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Till then, keep learning.